Following a comprehensive campaign, the new Austral is finally here. Renault's first model to ride on the third-gen CMFCD platform comes to replace the aging Codger and brings a series of novelties. The most obvious is a completely different design as the compact crossover adopts a fresh exterior look and a high-tech cabin representing a significant departure from the model it replaces. Power is provided by a turbocharged 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine equipped with mild hybrid tech described as being a genuine alternative to diesel. Yes, there's no oil burner available for the Austral as the Codger's DCI has been dropped. The 48V lithium-ion battery and starter motor are part of a setup making 130 horsepower channel to the wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox. With this mild hybrid advanced arrangement, Renault says fuel consumption is as low as 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers with corresponding CO2 emissions of 123 grams per kilometer. Without the mild hybrid tech, the engine would have been 20% thirstier, according to the company's internal estimations. Then there's the similarly named mild hybrid with a larger four-cylinder 1.3-liter gasoline mill. Co-developed with Mercedes-Benz, it works together with a 12V lithium-ion battery, a starter motor, and a six-speed manual or extronic automatic transmission. With the three-pedal setup, the powertrain makes 140 horsepower, while the auto bumps it to 160 horsepower and 270 newton meters of torque. The more potent system consumes 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers and emits 136 grams per kilometer. As for the E-Tech hybrid model, it's the full hybrid model based around a 1.2-liter unit. It always starts in electric mode and can be had with a combined output of either 160 horsepower or 200 horsepower. Renault to say it's one of the cleanest hybrid crossovers in its segment. A first for a Renault, the 2023 Austral inaugurates the Esprit Alpine serving as a range-topping trim with a sportier look. It rides on 20-inch wheels with a black aluminum look and Alpine branding whereas the lesser versions get smaller 17 to 19-inch alloys. It boasts an assortment of styling upgrades, including black accents, and an exclusive satin shale gray body color. Inside, the flagship model combines Alcantara with Napa leather and twill fabric resembling carbon fiber. There's also blue stitching and piping to spruce up the cabin along with aluminum pedals and door sills featuring the Alpine logo. Although it's being unveiled today, the Renault Austral won't go on sale until the fourth quarter of the year.